Well, if you've got the itch to travel, then you are going to want to pay attention because our next guest may be the foremost author on the topic, Patricia Schultz. She is the author of 1,000 Places to See Before You Die. She joins us in the studio this morning to share just a few places that we should visit. Patricia, welcome to Sonoran Living. Thank you. Thanks very much. So I want to mention that this book that you're talking about today, it is the new edition, right, of 1,000 yes. Places to See Before You Die. What does a new edition mean? Are there, did you change some of the places? Yeah, you know, the book is pretty much, it, it got a radical makeover, I like to say. And so all of the original Thousand Places got rethought, rewritten, merged, so that I opened up a lot of places for hundreds of new destinations, actually, which included 28 new countries, uh, color photographs, new hotels, more budget-aware, budget-friendly hotels and restaurants, et cetera. So it really is an entirely new take on travel today in 2012. Well, I'm really curious, were you like a travel writer? I mean, how did this book mm -hmm. sort of come about? It yeah. sounds like a dream job. Well, <laughs> I've been traveling my whole life, but I've been writing travel guides for mm -hmm. Fromer's, American Express, Berlitz for many, many, many years. So okay. this is my turf for a long time now, and I just love it. I love it. I do it for personal reasons and for professional reasons. I'm a um, travel junkie. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a bad thing to be, actually. Yeah, no, no, no. I okay, well, so. you have picked um, six of your, we're not going to call them the best, we're going to call them six of your favorites. Favorites, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and start with, with the first one. I know, uh, is it Santa Fe, New Mexico? Yeah. Oh, beautiful city. One of my, well, this whole area of the Four Corners is one of my favorite regions in all of America. The architecture, the the, um, the museums, the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. She was a transplant but loved the light, the inspiration that she found there, the opera season in the summer months, um, a lot of Indian influence in the food and in the festivals, um, a lot of early American, Native American influence in that area of the, the world. Wow, you know, I've never been to New Mexico, and it's so I, oh, I know. Oh, must go. <laughs> oh, my goodness, and it's so close It to is us. so close. But this whole area in the Four Corners, as I was saying, is, you know, you, the great American road trip, there's so much to see in natural beauty and also in history. Okay. That was, a num that was one of our favorites, or your favorites. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and talk about another one of your favorites. Um, we have six favorites. Oh, yes. But the <laughs> next was... Uh, was my, it because my list is a thousand exactly long. it is and you have to remember a whole lot um, do we have the um, the uh, Z uh, Zion and Bryce oh Zion national and Bryce parks? yes I'm sorry That's because okay. there are so many national parks in this area of the country but those are two of my favorite in Utah so much of Utah is protected and these two national parks are very very different each from the next but they're quite close to each other so you can actually visit them in the same trip and um, again I was mentioning the Great American Road Trip that Utah is where I first did that Thelma and Louise kind uh -huh. of, you know, <laughs> driving into the sunset. So um, incredible natural beauty. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, another one that is close, and I've never been to this one either, is Durango, Colorado. Yeah, again, you must out, go. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's one of those great mining towns that was a boom town in the late 1800s. So a lot of the brick buildings, Victorian buildings that are now shops, uh, restaurants, inns. Uh, and there's a great... Um, a great steam uh, locomotion uh -huh. uh, railroad yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that goes through that. It used to um, service the mines from the 1800s and now brings tourists into the countryside, so it's really quite beautiful. And a big um, adventure center, too, for biking and trekking and rafting, et cetera. Now, obviously, there's a lot of snow there, or you can go when there's no snow. Do you recommend yeah. one or the other? Well, or? I think as an East Coaster, we always view the Rockies as a snow time destination. Mm -hmm. But in the summertime, there are festivals, and the weather's beautiful. The countryside is always beautiful year-round. Every season, I think, has its own beauty. Yeah, and we like to get away out of the heat. Okay, uh, Venice, Italy. Yeah, to go a little bit abroad. Yes, a little bit. Um, and one of my favorite cities off-season, but in the summertime it's a little crowded, it's a lot crowded. Um, to visit all of these great cities of Europe in the off-season now, February, March, before the, the springtime and summertime crowds arrive. But Venice is unlike any other city, built on water, um, incredibly affluential and rich and flourishing for a thousand years. Um, the, a ride down the Grand Canal is kind of a ride back in time. Now, do you put in your book when you recommend for people to go? Yeah, because there are best times. You don't want to save up on time and 
um, money because those are the two things that often determine where we go and how long we right. stay, etc. And find out that it's overcrowded or that it's monsoon season or that it's 120 degrees. So there, there is um, information at the end of each of these thousand places, which is the best time you should go. Okay. Well, there are so many things, and I. I I think we just need to get people to buy the book so yes. that they can leisurely read it um, and look at all of the great pictures. One of them that I'm going to check out is Botswana. We didn't have time to talk about it, but it is one of your favorites. The Great African Safari. It's a must do. All right. Sounds great. I have a lot of things to do this summer. I know. You'll Thanks have to be to busy. Thanks to you, Patricia. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you are you. holding a, a book signing at Changing Hands Bookstore tonight. Now, the event gets underway at 7. The address is right there on your screen. We're going to pull it up for you. 6428 South McClintock in Tempe. And we are going to have this information on sonoranliving.com. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you.